I call this meeting of the Williamsburg James City County School Board to order. Can I please have a motion to certify closed session? Madam Chair, I certify that to the best of each member's knowledge, the Williamsburg James City County School Board, while in closed session, discuss only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements as stated in Virginia law, and that only such public matters as were identified in the motion convened in the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Okay, we've certified closed session. The first item up on our agenda today is a public hearing on the capital improvement plan. Um, so with that, I will open the public hearing. Ms. Hummel, are there any cards? I don't have, I don't have any cards. I don't have any cards either. No one oh, we don't have any cards. cards. Okay, so there are no cards. So with that, I will close the public hearing. Next item is the Pledge of Allegiance, and we are going to be led today by Jamestown High School senior Audrey Root. Are you here, Audrey? Can you come up to the um, lectern, please, and lead us? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Ms. Serza, will you take attendance? <coughs> Dr. Beers. Stay here. Here. Sorry. Here. <laughs> Ms. Hummel. Here. Mr. Kelly. Here. <coughs> Mrs. Taylor. Here. Mrs. Young. Here. Ms. Cook. Here. Um, at this time, I'd like to let the public and the audience know that um, Ms. Ownby and Dr. Heron are not with us tonight because they are in um, Richmond at an event to uh, celebrate Mr. Legowitz, who won um, Region 2 uh, Teacher of the Year, and so he's at a state dinner, and they are accompanying him. And then, Mr. Thorpe, I'd like to welcome you this evening. Thank you. I have a motion to approve the agenda, please. Madam Chair, I move that we approve the agenda as presented. Thank you. you. Can I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, will you call the roll, Ms. Serza, please? Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. All right. That brings us to announcements and superintendent's report. Mr. Thorpe. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good evening. As Mrs. Cook mentioned earlier, Dr. Heron is not with us this evening because she is attending the Virginia Teacher of the Year celebration with Mr. Stephen Legowick from Lafayette High School. Mr. Legowick is a phenomenal Virginia and U.S. history teacher who uses his passion <coughs> for history to engage students and help them make connections to current, real-world experiences. Mr. Legowick was previous, previously named both WJCC schools and the Region 2 Teacher of the Year. He is now one of eight finalists who are in contention to become Virginia's Teacher of the Year. That honor will be announced in about one hour. If we receive word that Mr. Legowick was selected, we will update you during this meeting. I have two other quick announcements to share this evening. First, I would like to remind all families that this Friday, October 19th, is now a full instructional school day for students. You'll recall that the previously announced half day was extended to make up instructional time lost due to Hurricane Florence. And speaking of make up time, I would like to encourage in, I would like to encourage parents and staff members to participate in a brief online survey to provide input on how the school division should make up time lost during last Friday's Hurricane Michael. Visit the school division website, www.wjccschools.com, to complete the survey. A link was also sent through a WJCC schools email last night. Since then, more than 3,550 people have responded to the survey, providing valuable input for the superintendent to consider. And finally, please mark your calendars for the division-wide college and career fair at Warhill High School 
on October 25th. The event is presented in partnership with the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers and the James City County Office of Economic Development. Students and families will be able to speak directly with representatives of more than 100 colleges and universities, professional programs, businesses, and branches of the military to assist in planning for life after high school. To kick off the night, students and families also have an opportunity to attend a new session entitled Financial Aid 101, beginning at 5.30 p.m. in the Warhill High School Auditorium. The College and Career Fair will run from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 excuse me, 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the student commons. There is no charge for admission and all high school students and their families are encouraged to attend. Madam Chair, that concludes tonight's announcements. Thank you, Mr. Thorpe. Mrs. Young? Yes, uh, good evening. Um, I um, have an announcement from the Special Education Advisory Committee that their next meeting will be held November 8th at 6.30 in the James City County Recreation Facility. Um, off of Ironbound Road. Also, um, I just want to say that we're sorry that for the past meeting was not, we've had two meetings since the beginning of the year. They have not been able to be held uh, because of our uh, Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Michael. I guess they don't like us meeting on those nights, but uh, that hasn't happened. But the next meeting will be held, as I said, November 8th, and we're having a speaker from William and Mary uh, Hartley Huber, who's going to come and talk about uh, inclusion practices in, in the high school. And if you have a special ed student, this would be extremely <coughs> valuable. It's a good time to find out about inclusion practices. Also, we want to thank the central office for uh, making sure that, uh, for ad advertising the SEAC committee, and, um, and especially for including it in the peach jar um, blurbs so that parents are aware that they are that they, that meeting is being held and they are more than welcome to come um, and we hope in the future that the peach jar will come out a little bit sooner so that we have more advance notice although this is great advance notice so please plan on coming on november the 8th for that meeting thank you thank you any other announcements okay with that it brings us to 6.01 student and staff uh, recognitions Good evening again, Madam Chair. We have Thank two you. recognitions this evening. First, Toano Middle School and its PTA were named a 2018 to 2020 National PTA School of Excellence. This distinction is given to schools as a result of their commitment to build strong family school partnerships. The recognition is awarded when a PTA and a school have achieved high levels of family engagement or when a PTA and school have made substantive positive improvement in families' perceptions by the end of the school year. Toano joins Matoka and Jamestown in being recognized this year for this outstanding accomplishment. Would Toano Middle School Principal Tracy Jones, PTA former president Dr. Kelly Herbst, and current president Michael Willen join us up front to be recognized? Congratulations to the entire Tiger community. Additionally, members of Jamestown's Envirothon team earned $5,000 in scholarships when they took third place in the national competition. The team, representing Virginia, competed against 50 other teams from the United States, Canada, and China. The competition consisted of five in-the-field test stations, soils, wildlife, aquatics, forestry, and a current environmental issue. The team used information from these stations to answer questions and present their environmental solution to industry and natural resource professionals who served as the judges. Students, as your name is called, please join us up front to be recognized. Audrey Root. <laughs> Joanna Stathopoulos. 
Lisa Small. Anna Song. Rachel Smith. And additionally, we'd like Mr. Dubay, who's one of our community coaches. Uh, could you please join the Envirothon team? Mr. Townsend, principal of Jamestown High School, please come on up. Thank you. Madam Chair, that concludes recognitions for this evening. We will celebrate the achievements of additional students and schools at your November board meeting. Thank you, Mr. Thorpe. The next item on our agenda is citizens' comments. And I believe we have one card. Mr. Yes, Kevin. Madam Chair, we have one, one card. I would recommend that we waive the reading of the rules because I think the speaker knows the rules pretty well. Samuel, are you okay with that? I am okay with that. Other board members okay with that? I'm okay with that. Okay, all right then. Kim Hunley. <laughs> Good evening, Kim Hunley, president of the Education Association. Um, coming to you, uh, it's always funny because I used to sit on the end there until I started watching the meetings and so my facial expressions I've been told that I have these facial expressions and I should not be sitting in front of the camera but I always thought I was smiling and pleasant so obviously not so uh, anyway this is the month of masks you know with um, the Halloween coming up but I wanted you to know that um, on behalf of the teachers we feel you're doing an excellent job with uh, everything <laughs> despite the weather um, I had some weather challenges myself but um, I think it's just very important that we remember that you use more muscles to smile than frown frowning you know is less muscles but it doesn't do your face any good so while you're in front of the cameras <laughs> just always try to look pleasant and happy and um, because you are doing a good job and we just wanted you to know that and um, also, put your best face forward and enjoy your little facial treatments tonight. Thank you for, for, very much. Thank you, Ms. Hunley. Okay, that brings us to the consent agenda, which is approval of uh, 8.01 approval of minutes from the September 18th meeting, 8.02 financial report and monthly uh, bills and payroll for September 2018, 8.03 personnel actions as presented. 8.04 Resolution R 1818 School Psychology Awareness Week, 8.05 Re Revised Policy BDDE Rules of Order, 8.06 Revised Policy BDDG Minutes, 8.07 Revised Policy GAA Staff Time Schedules, 8.08 .08 Revised Policy GDBB Overtime Pay and Holiday Pay, 8.09 Approved Release from Compulsory Attendance Case Number, R19-01. May I please have a motion? I move that we um, approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hommel. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Okay, that brings us to our action items. The first is 9.01, approval of minutes from um, October 2nd. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move, recommend approval. I move for approval of the minutes from the, from the, the October 2nd, 18 meeting. Have a second? <coughs> second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. I just wanted to note that I asked that this be moved from the consent agenda because I was not at this meeting and therefore would like to abstain. Any other questions? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll? Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. And Ms. Cook. Abstain. Okay, the next action item is 9.02 June 2018 financials and 2018 year end spending plan. Um, can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the June 2018 financial report and 2018 year end spending plan. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Can I have a second, please? Second. 
Um, before we go into discussion, Mr. Thorpe, do you have anything to add, or does anyone from staff have anything to add? No, ma'am. Um, does anyone have any questions for staff? Hearing none, Mr. Sir, sir, will you call the roll, please? Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Um, as this um, request moves to the localities, I would like um, request that staff keep the board uh, apprised of the process and when this goes to the public body so that we can be aware of that, please. Thanks. Okay. That brings us to 9.03 appointments to the 21st Century uh, and Career Ready Advisory Committee. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move approval of the appointments of the citizens for the 21st Century and Career Ready Advisory Committee for a two year term ending October 31st, 2020, as presented. Well, do you want me to read the names? Yes. Okay. Uh, John Arzinski, Gary Artybridge, Tanya. Back to you, got it, go to Ren Holland, Charles Leisure, William Mann Preston, Martin, and Kate Sipes. Thank you. Can I have a second? Any discussion? Hearing none, Mr. Sirs, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Young. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Brings us to 9.04 appointments to the Student Advisory Committee. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve appointments of the following citizens to the Student Advisory Committee. Serena Jean, her term ending June 30th, 2020. Carolyn Fuller, term ending June 30th, 2020. Peter Stauffer, term ending June 30th, 2019. Christos Constantino, uh, term ending June 30th, uh, 2020, Ainsley Lord, term ending June 30th, 2020, Mayor Nariavala, term ending June 30th, 2020, and Matthew Preston, term ending June 30th, 2020. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. And moved and seconded. Can I have any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Okay. That brings us to 9.05, appointments to the Special Education Advisory Committee. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve appointments of the following citizens to the Special Education Advisory Committee for terms ending October 31st, 2020. Diana Anderson, Sarah Copeland, Julie Culifer, Kara Neumann, and Michael Willen. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, we, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I was just going to say that uh, this is a committee that is comprised of uh, people who are uh, basically have students that are within our uh, the school division with special needs, and there is an opportunity for more parents to participate in that or community members. It's an advisory board of 15 members. That, that concludes what I was going to say. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's okay. Anything else? Sirs, will you call the roll? Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Okay, that brings us to 10.01 board members' comments and requests. Um, Dr. Beers, do you have anything for this evening? Um, yeah, the only thing I'm, I'm a, a little disappointed. I thought that uh, we'd have more citizens um, out tonight. Uh, to talk about our CI, our CIP plan, uh, but there's still time to um, uh, put forward um, your uh, thoughts and responses to uh, to that particular plan. Uh, the only thing I've heard so far is the need for the auxiliary gym. Um, at Warhill. Warhill. Yeah, Warhill High School. And I, okay, that's that's about it. Though. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Mrs. Young? I, I second that. I'm um, disappointed that we didn't have more people that were interested in how their tax money was being spent. Um, but um, we will press on. But I just wanted to thank again the, um, the um, central office for all of their hard work. I, um, I don't know that we ever truly recognize all of the hard work and 
uh, things that you do for the community and um, just want to, to thank um, um, our uh, local first responders for responding during the hurricane to, uh, to uh, our staff and uh, faculty that needed help. Um, and those of you that have lost homes and are currently living and about to get out of living in um, the residence in, congratulations, and I'm sorry for the other person. <laughs> Um, to piggyback off um, what Dr. Beers and Ms. Young said, uh, I, I'm very appreciative of the citizens who've reached out to us um, to share their thoughts on the CIP, even though there weren't any speakers tonight. Um, there are people reaching out to us, and there's still time to reach out to us, so I encourage them to continue reaching out to us, sending those messages, giving us that phone call, uh, so there's still time. And also, go to the website and fill out the survey on how we should make up our instructional time. I'm not going to add anything to the uh, comments that have already been made about uh, uh, the CIP and the hurricane. I, I am going to undercut uh, Mrs. Hummel and talk about the foundation event last night at James Blair and uh, how much I en enjoyed uh, seeing, the, seeing some of the teachers who had received grants and um, <laughs> And um, all the all the people who supported the foundation, I think that was a very good uh, event at James Blair. We got to show off uh, James Blair in the new school, and um, you know really thank some of those some of those people who supported the foundation. So that's all. Hummel, do you have anything else to add? Well, thanks a lot, <laughs> Mr. Kelly. I wanted I thought for sure you would be talking about Jamestown High School's golf state championship. Oh no. Okay, so I thought I was gonna you know. Beat you to the punch on that. You can anyway, have that one. Um, I also want to thank the both the community supporters who came out last night to the WJCC School Foundation um, Innovative Learning Grant recipient open house at James Blair. Uh, so all the community supporters who came out, the committee members who worked tirelessly to put the event together, and then finally also the grant recipients, the teachers that came out and set up um, demonstrations to show the community exactly where the grant money um, went, you know, so that they, they, we had three great projects uh, from each, you know, from the elementary, middle, and high school areas. And it was wonderful for the community supporters to see those different examples of how grant money is used and also to get a tour of the beautiful James Blair. Um, and that's it. That's uh, just wanted to also throw that congratulations out to Jamestown High School golf team. Um, I just wanted to thank all the citizens who applied for and offered to serve on our advisory committees. Um, it's, um, we appreciate the work that they do in, in reporting to us each year, and so it, it's, it takes time and energy to do that, so I'm grateful for that. I also wanted to n uh, note that since our last meeting, we, had, we dedicated James Blair, um, had been rescheduled because of the uh, first hurricane. Um, but it was it was nice to be able to to do that and to celebrate um, a new part of our educational infrastructure um, that's just beautiful. And uh, yesterday, um, with Miss Larson and um, Mr. Zhang, uh, we went on a tour. Mr. Harris, uh, the principal there, took us on a tour, and so I got to see the building in action, and it was really amazing to see. Um, you know, small group instruction and and classes using the hub and moving throughout in a, a really um, uh, you know, orderly, uh, thoughtful way, and and see some real interesting learning going on. We saw some some good math, uh, small group instruction that was that was good. And then I also want to circle back to the um, CIP process. Uh, thanks to uh, Ms. Heyman for covering that and, and promoting the public hearing tonight and letting everyone who reads the Gazette that there is an opportunity to reach out to us. Just as a reminder, last um, meeting we heard from the um, committee that reports to Dr. Heron on what they're recommending to her. This is our time to listen for, for citizens, from citizens. So, we, so the more people that we hear from, the better. Um, we have a lot to consider moving forward uh, in terms of high school space and, uh, and, and elementary school space in particular, uh, most pressing needs. And then at our next meeting, superintendent will present to us her recommendation to the board 
we will be able to discuss it at both meetings in November and then take action on December. So I just wanted to uh, remind everybody about the process and to please uh, contact us in any way, as Ms. You know, Mrs. Taylor said, phone, email, whatever. So um, it, it's important to hear from citizens. So. Is there anything else? Yes, Mrs. Yeah. Yes, uh, can, can we ask uh, uh, Mr. Thorpe to reread the information about uh, college night, just so that our citizens have that, because that is coming up. That's an important opportunity for high school students uh, to, as they're looking forward to entering the adult world. So, Certainly. Uh, the division-wide college and career fair is going to take place at Warhill High School on October 25th. And the event is presented in partnership with the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and the James City County Office of Economic Development. Thank you. What time was that on the 25th? It's 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. Anyone else? That brings us to upcoming events. On the 24th of October at 8 a.m., the policy committee is meeting in room 309 of the annex. And then, um, as Mrs. Young mentioned, on November 8th uh, at 6.30 p.m., SEAC is meeting in the James City County Community Center. And then our upcoming meetings, um, in November we have two meetings. The first is the 13th of November at 6 at the annex, followed uh, at 6.30 by work session and action items in room 300. And then on the 27th of November, we have a closed session at 6 in the workroom of the Stryker Center, so not here, Stryker Center, um, uh, followed by a uh, public hearing on the CIP. So that's another opportunity for people to, to chat with us about. So maybe they were waiting until next one. And then followed immediately uh, by a regular meeting, followed immediately after the public hearing. And if there's nothing else. That adjourns our meeting.